Welcome back to part two of the Snap Circuit Science lesson. To start, we have a challenge for you. Grab these three things from your Snap Circuit kit. A battery, a light, and a wire. Using those three items, can you light up the light? If you can't figure it out, I'll show you at the end of the video. Good luck. <laughs> Okay guys, now that we have understand the basics of a battery, are you ready to try out the snap circuits? Yeah. Each kit comes with what's called a breadboard. This is called a breadboard. And a breadboard is what you build your circuits on. Did you know that? Yes. You knew that already, cool. She knows it's called a breadboard though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we checked our batteries. Our batteries are good and solid. All right. And we're gonna build just a basic circuit. So I'm gonna let you guys build it yourselves. Yay! All right, project one is, it's battery, a lamp, and then a switch to turn it on and off. So the slide switch, I need this nut, is that the, yeah. Can you guys predict, it says on the side that each one is 1.5 volts. So we've got two of them. Can you predict how much voltage we should read on the multimeter? 2.10. If it's 1.5 plus 1.5, one and a half plus one and a half. Three. Three, good, okay. That is gross. That was gross, Adeline. All right, so good. So we should measure three, right? So when we measure voltage, we're gonna measure across the battery. So we're gonna go here on this snap and there on that snap. And let's get a good spot. 2.99, 2.99, perfect. Okay, so what we're seeing is that we have really charged batteries and 2.99. Now, what we could actually do is we can measure the current. We're gonna take our red um, lead and we're gonna move it over to our 10 amp and then we're gonna switch this over to DC 10 amps. And if you do that, you get a huge reading of current, okay? Because what are you doing to the circuit? You're doing something called shorting it out, all right? Which we don't wanna do. We're gonna drain the batteries if we do that. If we do Okay, this? yeah. Because you know what, you know what you're doing? So electrons are lazy and they always wanna flow the easiest way possible. So what you're doing is you're having electrons. They wanna go through here when, uh, when you don't have the leads on, but if you press the leads right here, then electricity will flow from the battery up through this multimeter and then back down into the battery. So it'll just be a loop here. Try it again. That's shorting the whole thing out. Can you guys think of a way that we could force the electricity to go through the whole thing? Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, let's say. When she does that, it goes in there, all the way up to here, and then goes back down the other one. Okay, let's see it. And then. Try it. Okay, it goes in here. Nope. Okay. Nope. Nope, so you're still shorting it out. So what if you go here and here? It's not doing it. Because look, trace the path of electricity. So let's say it's going here, it's flowing through the light, and then it's going here, and then back through here. But the only issue is, is that we're still reading zero on the multimeter. Any idea why we might still be reading zero? That it's look. going up and then it's coming right back down. See so this, this is still in place right here. See this piece? Mm -hmm. And electrons are still choosing to flow through this piece right here. So, if we take this piece off, like that. All right, now, I it want- can't, It can't connect. Yeah, so what I want you to do, Adeline, is I want you to go right here with your lead, and Lila, I want you to go right here with your lead. And look, the battery goes, the light goes back on. Oh yeah, because it's flying up through mine and going up here, and it comes it right goes, back down through Adeline's. It, it, well, 
Yep, it's gonna go this way, and then up through Adeline's, through this multimeter, and then back down into but yours. What if we turn it off? It doesn't then, work. Yeah, because then you're cutting off the circuit. Or if you turn it on, and then you take your leads away, see there's a big gap in the circuit, so it doesn't flow anymore. Yeah. All right, but if you put your things back, and I don't know if you guys can see, but we're getting about 0.18 amps, which is about right. Okay, Alan, I'm gonna have you do something called setting up the lights in series with each other. I'll explain what it is in a minute. All right, let's have you build it. There we go. Yeah, so look at the light bulbs. Are they as bright as the one light bulb was? No, because the, the batteries are evening out on both the light bulbs. Yeah, exactly. Not just one. So, can one of you guys trace the circuit for me? Trace with your finger electricity going around. It starts here at the negative. Okay, oh, goes this way from the negative. All right. Does the electricity have more than one path it can take, or is it all, is it forced to go in one path? It's forced to go in one path. Yeah. These light bulbs are actually dimmer because the electricity that's flowing through is shared between these two. These light bulbs are actually called resistors. So you can see it's more dim. Actually, before we do that, let's just get the multimeter out real quick. We're gonna do the same test that we just did. All right, so 2.72. That might have been because we actually caused the batteries but to run down a little bit from shorting it, but. The lights are staying on. Yeah, but we got 2.72, so that's that means that's our voltage, and now we're gonna measure the current. So I'm gonna switch back over to this terminal, switch over to 10A. What do we have to do? What do we do in the last one, Lila? We got rid of... Oh yeah, we got to get... One on each. Until it lights up. What do we get? Point... 13. Point 13, okay? So... We have a little bit less current flowing through because there's more resistance in the circuit. So we have just a little bit, and we also have a little bit of less voltage because I think we wore the batteries down a little bit when we were shorting it out. Okay, Lila, we're gonna have you build the parallel circuit. Wow, that works. Okay. Okay, so let's flip it on. Yeah, what do you notice about the light bulbs? They're a little brighter. They're both very, very bright, right? Yeah. Okay, what do you read there? 245. 2.45, okay, what do you read it there? 2.46. Okay. That's why that light is brighter. Yeah, so the voltage drop across the battery is about 2.73, but across here, it's 2.45. Do you have any idea where that other 0.3 might go? Uh. If you had to guess? I would guess it will go to the switch. Maybe, yeah. Or the or these. There might be some resistivity yeah. in these, and there might be some voltage drop across those pieces. But um, anyway, and then let's do the current real quick, just to measure it. Okay, so we're switching the multimeter back over. And we're gonna measure the current across that one. And it comes out to 0.18 amps. What was the what was that bulb when we did just one light bulb? Uh, I don't know. It was 0.18 amps. It was. Yeah, that's the same light bulb. So now we have the same amount of current going through it that we had with uh, just one light bulb. Okay. All right, and then how about this one? And that's. 0.17. 0.17. That's, that's the voltage drop. No, that's the I mean, current. I that's, mean, yeah, but it's exact. That's why this one's a little lower than this one. Right. That's why it's a little less lighter. Yeah. And it's also a slightly different light, so you can actually calculate how much the resistivity is in each one of these using Ohm's law. But we'll get to that another time. Nice job, guys. So why don't you just build like one for fun right now? Different. Actually, do you want to hook the batteries in series? That's actually a really good one. Let's put the fan on. So Lila, you did an awesome circuit here. You hooked up two batteries in series with each other, and then you hooked up a fan here. And so we've got six volts now, because we've got 1.5 times four. And so let's see what happens.
That was awesome. <laughs> Caleb. Caleb. Did you get the fan? Can we try again? Let's try that again. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, two one. one. Your eyes were like. <laughs> like that. Alright, ready? I'm gonna come back in here. Have you ever heard of current before? Yeah, I think I've heard of, of it in uh, the Wizard of Oz. You remember the lion once cur curtain and he didn't have any? <laughs> <laughs> That's courage, sweetie. Um, using those three items, can you light up the eye light? <laughs> <laughs> can you light up the eye <laughs> 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 and now for the solution on how to light up the light. Step one, snap the wire on one end of the light. Step two, place the negative side of the battery on the other end of the light. Step three, place the other end of the wire on the positive side of the battery and watch your light light up. It's just science.